I got to tell you, I'm really loving this Republican National Convention, not just in contrast to the sort of lunatic asylum recreation that was the Democratic National Convention, uh, but in comparison even to RNC conventions of the past. The typical Republican National Convention is a sad sack affair. I mean, it's the usual cliches, the usual boilerplate, America is great because America is good, Alexis de Tocqueville. Actually, Tocqueville didn't say that, but you know what I mean. What I love about this convention is its energy and its willingness to tackle issues head on. First, the pro-life issue. In the past, we waited with bated breath while George H.W. Bush or George W. Bush you know, even mention the pro-life issue, and then we'd have to go into rapture as, as if to say, wow, thank you, we're so appreciative, you even condescended to say it. Here we have a bold defense of life itself and an attack on Planned Parenthood. Abby Johnson talking about how the unborn baby moves in an attempt to avoid the annihilating force of the suction pump, unforgettable. When a physician asked me to assist with an ultrasound guided abortion, nothing prepared me for what I saw on the screen. An unborn baby fighting back, desperate to move away from the suction. And I'll never forget what the doctor said next. Beam me up, Scotty. The last thing I saw was a spine twirling around in the mother's womb before succumbing to the force of the suction. Then we have, second, the naturalization ceremony, a stroke of genius. Why? Because it completely confutes the leftist narrative. Here's the leftist narrative. Trump hates immigrants. If he wants any immigrants at all, he wants white immigrants from Norway. But now look at the picture. It's like a United Nations. I didn't see any Scandinavians, did you? So help me God. So, so help me God. God. Congratulations, you're now citizens of the United States of America. So Trump, through his tableau, is refuting, discrediting the leftist narrative. No wonder if you look at the faces of those people at MSNBC, CNN, I mean, it looks like they were being administered suppositories during the naturalization ceremony. They looked so uncomfortable. And third, the blatant, powerful appeal to the black vote. I also think about Joe Biden who says, if you aren't voting for me, you ain't black, who argued that Republicans would put us back in chains, who says there is no diversity of thought in the black community. Mr. Vice President, look at me. I am black. We are not all the same, sir. I am not in chains. My mind is my own. And you can't tell me how to vote because of the color of my skin. This is fantastic, an attack on the Democratic Party narrative. The expose of the Democrats as the party of racism and the plantation. Um, a revelation of how they use dependency for their political gain. The guy from Kentucky, Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, never has a Republican president so openly campaigned for the black and minority vote. So clearly we're seeing something very new, a new level of dynamism, of boldness, of fearlessness, and of substance. That's, I think, why the left is so unnerved and so terrified, because it's no longer the McCain or George W. Bush Republican Party. It's now Trump's Republican Party.